Ecco, la sistemazione. Good evening, Osbin. Good evening, David. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? So so. That's good. Very good. Today is Tuesday. No, no it's, it's not Friday. Come on. It's raining very hard. Really? Yes. Could I know where you live? Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello. Hi. Again, I don't, I don't worry, I, I listen to you. I mean, I'm just starting with the class because time's up. I mean, time's... Right now we are on time. We are the champion. No, we are not the champion. We are online. Okay, guys, it's time to start. I mean, right now just us being in David. I don't know what happened with the other. Ah, Daniel. Welcome, Daniel. Good. Good, good, good. Just we are going to wait a little bit for some of your classmates. Mr. Alejandro Donez, good evening. Kenya, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening.
Just we're gonna wait a little bit for some of your classmates and we are going to start, okay? Tulmach, Soya, Carla, Lorena, well. Hmm, Vanessa, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, Vanessa. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. Almost time, guys. Almost time. It's raining here. Yeah, I see. I I I I was listening that. Uh, uh, I mean, some of your classmates are facing rainings where they live. Here, no yet. But but the environment feels like uh, it's gonna be raining. Or it's going to rain. Okay, guys, so just again, one minute to start with the class. We are eight of your classmates and me, we are nine inside the class. Okay. A curiosity, a yuck in English, you can paste on your, on the chat or maybe you can share here a new IA page. I mean, I mean, I mean, and you and use huh? class number seven. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> eight, five past eight. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. I'm happy to see you here again. Catherine, Alexandra, good, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. The, good evening, welcome to the class. Another day in a paradise. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is the class number seven. Okay. And remember, we are in PNIT, Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo, that is given by Inglés Corporativo, Regal International, and sponsored by Insafor. Okay. And that's all. I mean, uh, we are going to try to define some terms to learn new vocabulary and Today is Tuesday, you know. We are two days or three days for Friday, but we can do it, okay? On Friday, we are going to say, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. <laughs> but until Friday, right now, My we goodness. have to go on. <laughs> okay, as always, I have to go with the attendance, okay? I have to... Go with the attendance. Let me see. Attendance. Today is Tuesday, June 6th. 6th. I mean, 6th. June 6th. Tuesday, June 6th, 2023. Okay. Andrea Laureana Vasquez Martinez. Cristian Manuel Garcia Perez. Cristian Alejandro Ordóñez Arevalo. Present. Good. Daniel Antonio Luna. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present. 
Good. David Alexander Rodriguez Sánchez. Present teacher. Good. Helen Stephanie Arevalo Pérez. José Alberto Baños Hernández. Ok. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present teacher. Good. Catherine Alexandra Flamenco Hércules. I'm here. Good. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. Present teacher. Good. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Osvin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present. Good. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Silvia Alejandra Chantalino. Zulma Janet Ramírez Ábalos. Present. Good. Ubaldo Antonio Alvarenga. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present. Good. Judy Araceli Cuellar de Hernández. Okay. So, Daniel Antonio Luna. I'm here, teacher. Good. Helen Stephanie Arevalo. Present. Good. That's it. Okay, guys. Oh, Sylvia is coming. Welcome again. Okay, guys, we are going to make, a, as always, a review of the last topic. Yesterday, we were discussing a little bit uh, about some terms. Okay. Let me see if we can check. I mean, for the one who didn't stay here. That's it. Okay. This is the main document. Now, I mean, oh, I don't, I, what I did, so. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, and we can say if we can remember, we can see if we can remember some of the terms that we defined yesterday. Yesterday, a person who starts who starts a business, the activity of starting a business for for profit is la is a, uh huh, without to see the the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. What? Entrepreneur. 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 Like French. Entrepreneur. Yeah. A risky project or business idea? Venture. Yes, venture. Financial gain? Profit. 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 Very good. A newly established business? Startup. A startup, yeah. A person that puts money into a project or a small business with the help of eventually receiving profit. Invest. Investor. I mean, invest. That is invest, no? Investor. Because invest is the, the verb. Investor. An organization or project that promotes... Um, that promotes or supports the fast growth of a small business. Mm -hmm. Accelerator. Yes, very good, Mr. An organization or a space to support new business ventures. Incubator. Yes, very good. To increase your community of professional connections. Networking. Yes, networking. The exclusive legal right to use and 
We produce literal, literary, artistic, or musical material. Copyright. Copyright. Authorization or license granted to an inventor that prevents others from making, using, or selling their invention. Patent. Patent. Yeah, that is a patent. Okay, that was uh, part of our work yesterday. It was a review of the term. I know that you are very smart guys. And I think so that you memorize very well the, the I mean the, the the terms. It's okay. Oh, uh, I don't know. It says multiple choice about the class. Do you have any choice, or I mean, do you have any experience, or do you want to comment something about this? Is time to discuss an experience. I mean, do, don't try to be like um. You don't try to take too much time, but. We can do it. Do you have any experience? Uh, or you can ask me some something about e-commerce, okay? Let's gonna see like that. Uh, let's gonna talk about that. Uh, as to your t-shirt, this this is the question, a round of question as to your t-shirt about e-commerce. Okay. I don't know if I know everything. I don't obviously, but you can do it. David, a question about e-commerce for me. I don't know, but I will try to answer. You know, I wanna say sorry. Maybe David is busy. Carla, Lorena? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Aha, tell me, Vanessa. What is the product that you buy frequently in uh, e-commerce? I mean, just food. What food? I mean, sometimes the common here, maybe pollo campero or pizza hut. And then sometimes Chinese food. That's it. Mm. They, they are locally. I, I, I bought some products like I have a 3D pencil and I have a, a little bot. A little robot that it was for my classes. Yeah, I bought one long time ago. Thank you, Vanessa. Uh huh. Another one, another question. Mr. Luna, question for me about e-commerce. No, picture. <laughs> no. Come on, no. guys. Mr. Archimedes. You give me, please, uh, three effective strategies for e-commerce, please. Oh, my God. <laughs> right now, you can use IA. I mean, you can design a good logotype. You can uh, decide some scripts for your social networks, and you have to have good social networks. It means that you have to have a good marketing a strategy on social networks. And at the end, for me, I mean, you have to create constant, uh, you have to create uh, a service, maybe every, every, maybe every week, maybe every week or every month. Uh, well, it depends on the product that you are going to commercialize. But me, you, if you are if you are having service, at least you can know a little bit about the the needs of your consumers of, of the consumers. Okay, thank you. So good, uh, Sulma. Any questions, Sulma? Mm. Have you ever thought to create an e-commerce business? Yes, I'm thinking really, even I have the name of the company, but I'm just still studying the this the I mean the the techniques and even the materials that I have to use, but I have the I am I am thinking on a e-commerce and that's it. I have an idea. A long time ago I created, but I'm trying to work on. Uh, you can teach in by uh, well, yeah. do, uh, 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 really, really. I was, I mean, I was 
How is it? There are some places. In... Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was trying. No, uh, Combos is a company of language. They mm. were, uh, they, they were trying to hire me at the end. Uh, yeah. They asked for too much time. I mean, that's why I didn't work for them. But they, <clears throat> they, are, they are Combo. That is a company that teach languages around the world. And they send me an email with a video and you know, uh, that mm -hmm. I have to, I mean, I have to make, a, 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 I have to create or I have to schedule a date. And I couldn't, I mean, an interview because, and also, believe it or not, I was applying for the program to be a teacher at the U.S. But after the, pan, the, the pandemic came and after I couldn't finish that program, but I participated in two interviews. Mm -hmm. That's it. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stephanie. Who is Stephanie? <laughs> Hello, Stephanie. <laughs> you don't like no. that name or you or, or nobody calls you like that? I think it's very common. Yeah, uh, you don't mm -hmm. like it. <laughs> yes, because when I was a child, I had a like seven <laughs> classmates. Everybody, class. every, every, Alejandra everybody, Stephanie, everybody, Maria everybody Stephanie. Everybody names Stephanie, okay? Yes. The teacher is Stephanie. Stephanie. Who? Yes. Which is Stephanie? Yes. <laughs> A lot of okay. Stephanie. Okay, mm -hmm. Helen. So sorry then. Tell me, Helen. <laughs> no, I like the name, but I think it's very common. Okay. Like now, Mateo. Now all the... Yeah, little, they, they go uh, according well, to the they uh -huh, go according to uh, the epochs. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's very common. Well, talking about the topic, mm, have you ever tried to buy a uh, something uh, through Amazon? No, I haven't. So, uh, I mean, I was, I was watching some products that, um, I mean, they, I was saying, okay, I would like to buy these, but I never have tried to Amazon. I bought by Alibaba. So one, one, once upon a time, I bought, I bought on Ali, on Alibaba, but just that, no Amazon. But I'm trying to buy a. Uh, check a, a, a chess clock i like to play chess so i i'm thinking on osbin uh, thank you helen osbin do you have any question uh, let me see um, uh, what what do you think about the e-commerce uh, in, in in salvador mm, i mean i think so that there is a uh, big niche but i mean you know that the salvadorian culture is i was saying to you in the second session i think so that the salvadorian is like uh, we are like vivos <laughs> that's why we are like uh, okay we always want we always want to buy like uh, uh for the latest the latest latest price and we want to sell for the highest the highest price talking about cars and everything i mean you have like uh maybe it's so sorry but in the summer it's like if you want to sell a bill and it's just for nowhere i mean just for now of people who knows about come on who's gonna who's gonna buy uh this kind of stuff that's why i mean i think so that we have we we, we are we are doing very good but we have to change our culture our mind everything that's my opinion okay okay thank you you're welcome mr ordonez your field you are in your salsa mr ordonez mm, what payment system could you use in a uh, e-commerce in 2023 oh well uh, right now, I mean, just the most common credit card. But I have used PayPal. I was making deal with Spain with 
Chile and I did by PayPal. And, but right now I just, I think so that for me, for me, and the easiest one is credit card. Uh, even I am like, uh, if they can steal my, my data, but I mean, for me, it's, it's easy. It's the, it's the easier because I can control my accounts, my money, my, some, my, back my bank accounts that's why don't you think um another more update type of payment should be used well by e-commerce by e-commerce i mean i don't know right now it says maybe uh bitcoin and another kind of payment but um Ethereum, I think so that is the other one, the other crypto that, that exists. But I don't know. I mean, no, I don't really, really, really in that case, uh, you have to imagine a way to 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 to, to transfer money uh, with the total security because the point is not to transfer money. The point is the security that you have to have to, I mean, when you transfer money because they can capture your data and they can have your financial information. That's why. Okay. Thank you, Mr. C uh, Cecilia Ruiz. And we are about to finish uh, with Catherine Sibia and Arcelia. Okay. Mm, do you, did you have any bad experience with the e-commerce? Again, please, did you have what? A bad experience uh, with any e-commerce. Yes, but it was, it, it was, I mean, uh, it was more, it was maybe my, my fault. Uh, I I was applying for the ONU, I think so, long time ago, believe it or not. <laughs> I was applying for the ONU and I used an e-commerce to, improve your resume your resume i mean your resume ah resume i think so so this page you have to pay for but after you pay for they subscribe automatically so okay they they cash me like 25 dollars <laughs> and i pay just in that case just four dollars but after they cash me 25 dollars and oh what's up then I have to wrote down in English and I did good. I, at least they understood me. <laughs> and they returned me like $20. <laughs> that's okay. That's my, my experience, okay? But not okay. no more. The quality of the products are from China. That is very, I mean, it's very hard to, that's it. Alexandra Flamenco. Hello. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You have to ask me something about e-commerce. Yeah. What would you be interested in buying on an online store? I mean, I like the tricycles, I think so. That is, that, there are some electric, uh, electric, like electric motorcycles. Electro domestic stuff? Nah. <laughs> the, men, oh, the, the, okay. the, the men don't think about. <laughs> <laughs> we men, we think in tools, vehicles, and something like that. No, no, I mean, that kind of that kind of stuff i i don't know why i mean uh why it doesn't like to us oh well, I mean, that is like a, a kind of motorcycle oh, that is a tricycle okay that is like oh. a motorcycle of three wheels that's one that i like to buy oh that's very interesting <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay, Sylvia, thank you, Catherine. 
Hello, good night. Well, um, could you please mention a person who inspired you to create your business? For example, <laughs> um, Jack Mack. We already talked oh. about him. Yeah, but I would like to know who yeah. inspired you. Oh, well, I mean, I, I, how I can tell you, I mean, I, I mean, the entrepreneur says that you have, you don't have to put your eggs in a, in a, in a non, in just in one basket. So in my case, also, I read the, the book, the four uh, industrial, industrial revolution that is written by this, this man that is Klaus Schwab. He is German. I like the book. And also I like the book of Andres Oppenheimer, I think so. That is the name of Andres Oppenheimer. Uh, that is in Spanish. I don't know if, if it is in English, but it's in Spanish, Crear o Morir. Okay. I mean, I like that book. And also uh, I read about Andres Oppenheimer, Latin America Basta de Historias. Those are three books that I like, okay? Why? Because they inspire you to be different in education, to be different around the world. So these books, uh, they, I mean, they open my mind and they tell me, okay, I'm a worker, but if you can create your own business, uh, you can do it. I mean, I know about Jack Ma, Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, and uh, yeah. Elon Musk, and maybe, uh, and maybe another one. But... They inspire you to think out of the box, right? Yes, that's it. I mean, when you start, when you read, I think so, you you start to think about out of the box. I mean, and I recommend if you want to read, you can, you can, we can read this, no, these three books. Okay, La thank you. Revolución okay. Industrial, that okay. is uh, eh, Latin America Basta de Historias y Crear o Morir. They are good books. Okay, thank you so much. That's it. Ubaldo, welcome Ubaldo. Hi, teacher. Hi, we are asking. You are the last one to ask about the teacher. Uh, to ask to your teacher about about e-commerce. You don't know if you do, if your teacher knows, but you can ask him. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't get it, cool teacher. Uh... So you can ask me something about e-commerce. Ask you. Yeah, ask me. Uh, let me see. Let me think. Mm -hmm. Um, have you ever try tried to do one of the four techniques about e-commerce? Which techniques? I mean, you are talking mm. about uh, C to C, B to yes. C. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never, but if I can do it, I will practice maybe B to C. That is business to consumer. I mean, my business to the consumers. I mean, that's for me. And if I could, I could, I I will do B to G. You know what is B to G? Yeah. B to G. Yeah. That's another. <laughs> you didn't study <laughs> this. They say at some theories about B to G. Let me see. That is B to G. Yeah. B to G. Oh my God. Two G. Business to government. That is business to government. If you can sell to the government, and that's it, it will be for me a good. You can sell services, I don't know, to the government. Yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's why, guys. 
Ok, Mr. Manuel Antonio Jurado y Judy Araceli, they are here. We are we are asking to the teacher, but we are gonna go. I mean, I don't know if you have any question about e the e-commerce for the teacher. Because if not, we are gonna go to the breakout rooms to answer another questions, okay? These questions about e-commerce. Let me see. Okay. I'm gonna share the screen. I'm gonna share by the chat. That's uh... It is about what are the main gas, what are the main gas or challenges that, I mean, the challenges that the, uh, the, 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 the people who start on e-commerce is going to face, okay? Ah, it has about, about blockchain. You know what is blockchain? <laughs> blockchain. Okay, you are going to be sending to the, breakout rooms and you can start to discuss the question let me know if you get bored i will send you another four questions okay and if you get bored i can send another four questions if i will if i will find if i find you that you are quiet i will send you four questions because i will understand that you are getting bored with the questions that i sent and maybe you need an extra motivation okay good you got it you got it. Hey, hello. Got it. Yes. Okay. So, do you need more four more questions? No. <laughs> now, okay. We're gonna be sending to the breakout rooms right now, guys. Oh, I'm gonna be fine. No busy people today. It means that everybody's gonna speak. Okay. No busy people. It means that everybody's gonna. Talk about. Hello, good evening. Hi, how, how are you? Hey, yes. I'm okay. Okay, that's good. Oh. Uh, the first question, what are the main challenges e-commerce companies are facing in the current market? the increased competition I guess the the competition is growing so this is very hard to any business that start or or if they have a lot of time but it hard it's hard for them to and the prices too, because many businesses have uh, a low prices. And, yes, I, okay, continue. And, and the quality, uh, we, we can find many products, uh, similar products, in internet but when you buy something it's possible that the quality is going to be bad yes it's very important to to show and to and to give a good quality uh for i think what give a security yeah. What is the competition? Yeah, yeah competition. Yeah. 
the the cost possible the price of the product i think the same so hello hello okay hello hello you looking for a no no <laughs> <laughs> No, we're talking a little bit about the questions that you already sent us. Ah, okay. So let me know if you are if you're getting bored, I can send you more. Oh no, no, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> we're working on this. No problem. I mean, from uh so the place where these questions come from, there are more. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Great to know. How <laughs> you kidding? Okay, okay, because we were discussing about the question number two, mm -hmm. about the purchasing behaviors uh, over the past few years, but we're looking for information on, on the internet, Googling, and we can discuss uh, this, these questions. Ah, good. Did you yeah. find something interesting on the internet? Yeah. Oh, well... Well, in my case, I'm still working on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I was thinking about the first question, Alexandra. Um, for me, um, one of the most um challenges things that the company facing in the current market, it could be like um, maybe um, the manufacturer. Because now, yep. <laughs> no, I, I didn't start the platform yet. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay. The first question is, what are the main changes? e-commerce companies are facing in the current market for you? Mm, can you repeat, please? I don't understand. What I have problems with my internet. What are the main changes e-commerce companies are facing in the current market? I think it's like they they are como que ellos están enfrentando. Yeah, that it means. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you send can you send the, the question for the chat, please? I Okay. For, for real, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What does it mean, Chen? And nowadays, it's more common. To purchase, uh, use. Yeah. Yes, with so with social media, with it. Mm -hmm. But what about the number four, Alexandra? Um, what strategies are e-commerce businesses adopting to to stay competitive in crowd online marketplace? Um, I think. One of the strategies is innovation because they have to improve the, their, uh, I don't know, their visions, their, uh, their goals to increase sales or, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to look for another one. Innovation and what do you think? Yes, because that just says something important for me. 
because you mentioned that to be innovate. That's one of the most important thing nowadays because um, everybody sell the same products, but you have to sell a different idea or a different product or something that people want to buy it. Okay, yeah. And I think I was looking for another one and mm -hmm. another strategy that helped to increase um, the business uh, the e-commerce business is the loyalty, the loyalty programs to the customers. Uh, like discounts, maybe? Yeah, like discounts, like uh, gifts, gift cards, or some stuff like that, like in the company, when a customer mm -hmm. exceeds their, their, their sales, the company gives like a remuneration or a gift card or or something that they can be is keep loyal to the company mm -hmm. okay got it got it it's a great one mm -hmm. but yeah but give discounts like you mentioned i think it's very important too. Yes, I don't know if, have you ever listened about lo a loyalty program? Points. Sorry? Points. <laughs> they give you points. I mean, they create like a up in line, like right now there is Leal from Texaco, I think so. Yes. Adoc, they have created Adoc also. Adoc has created, recently I went to buy to Adoc and they have created a loyalty program. Okay, they give you like 1000 points when you start a program mm -hmm. that you can change obviously by choose yeah and every point is one dollar right i think so yeah 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 they, they, there is a lot of loyalty programs right now that is a good strategy mm -hmm. yeah i think that is a good program <laughs> good yeah. everybody loves discount so yeah yeah, like Burger King and their ticket discounts. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. In the burgers. Like in the U at the U.S., no? Like coupons also. Oh, yes, yeah, coupons. Yeah, coupons. The, I don't know if there is still like see the page coupon. Yes. Uh, that you, you, you go with three or four and they gave you a discount, a big discount. Uh, yeah, for example, um, Burger King, uh -huh. they give you a discount in your in your next purchase. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and I think and in e-commerce businesses, what about here? Hello, hello. I don't know what happened. Huh? <laughs> Vanessa is, is she went is out. out. She went out. I don't know why. What happened to her? To Vanessa. Okay. Vanessa, Vanessa, she went out. Maybe yeah. the internet because it's raining. I have a low signal for the raining. Yeah, I think so that is why. That's why. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How are you, Helen and Stephanie? What do you think the 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 three questions? Bank account. Ah, uh, okay.
but well like the the question says uh i think the ai has a lot of potential to revolutionize various various aspects of the e-commerce including the personalization uh the sack service the i don't know but the question what role do em emerging technologies such as ai and blockchain play in the future of e-commerce as AI. What does it mean, teacher? Uh, AI. Emerging. Intelligent, artificial intelligence. Uh, oh. What does that mean? Block, block. Blockchain. Blockchain, blockchain. blockchain is uh, blockchain is like uh, the kind of programmes that are the the cryptos. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There are blockchains. Program programist. Yeah, it's Did like a, uh huh. It's like an influencer. No, 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 no. I mean, blockchain is like uh, no. I mean, it's like the 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 the, the program. I mean, like the language of programmation that they are according to the to the to to the crypto to the cryptos. Okay, uh -huh. they are like the programs with the cryptos. Cryptos are created. They are like blockchains. Uh, they are like valid <laughs> blockchains. I mean, that is the the, the, the way to to make to mining this. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm gonna give it to you. Maybe a a, a right. I mean, I know that is that, but I will tell you maybe a a, a well, blockchain. Blockchain. What is? I mean, what is blockchain? Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. it's like it's like when like, like uh the problems that they used to explore about bitcoins and everything. I mean, is they are like uh wallets of these crypto coins. Uh -huh. like like a Chibo wallet. It's yeah, something like that. Like, uh, yeah, Chibo wallet is a blockchain. That's it. Okay. Okay. Thank you for clarifying, teacher. So. Okay. Well, Okay, what role do the emerging technologies? I think it's very important the role that the technologies emerging uh, for now and the, for the future. I think uh, uh, now in another country, uh, some companies, some technologies companies, develop uh, intelligent, uh, artificial intelligence that yeah. they encourage to power the Bolsa de Valores, how do you say? Um, Wall Street? You can Wall say Wall Street. Wall Street. Yeah. The Wall Street and uh, uh, in artificial intelligence the, uh, is in charge to what happened with uh, the, what the Wall Street uh, is. I hear about that, a little bit about that, but I don't sure what the, what, what happened with this program. I don't know. Which one? Like, uh, some platform uh, are in charge in the Wall Street. You call invert your money in the platform. Uh, ah, you you could the, invest your money in the platforms. Uh, in the platform, in the the artificial uh, intelligence, intelligence. Is in charge to increase your money. I don't know how <laughs> they do. But. They they recommend. I mean, they like the in. The artificial intelligence is like algorithms. They uh they 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 make predictions of maybe of the economy and that they analyze, I mean, which uh markets you can invest and they recommend you and that's it, that's the way that it works. Mm -hmm. And you say to the to the at least imagine uh you say to the uh, artificial intelligence. Hey, at least you that come. That is one of the I use or Bart. That is from the Google. I think so. Bart. Mm -hmm. Bart is the the artificial intelligence of Google. Okay, Bart. Mm -hmm. You can say Bart and 
where can I, in, in, in which uh, companies in Wall Street can I invest my money? And so he has start to give you some recommendations. That's it. Uh, and yeah. I imagine that you are talking about, about programs that they do that. They are like investors. Even I was reading an article, it is very hard, but they were saying that they, uh, in 2010, I read an article about the profession that they are going to exist in like 2014, 2000, uh, 2017. And they exist like uh, that is a social network advisor. You know that there is a word that is called like that, social network advisor. Uh -huh. It exists. But right now with the IA, they are, uh, they are the same IA is predicting some professions that they are they are not gonna exist anymore. Live mm. photography, by example. Okay. Well, one question for <laughs> one question for you, teacher. Uh, have you invested your money in Chico Wallet? No, I didn't. No, <laughs> no, I didn't. Why um, no? You are also talking about the future, but you know <laughs> your money. I mean. But I mean, I, I I think so that you have to be like a, like a wolf to invest. I mean, in, in this kind of 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 products, maybe maybe believe it or not, they are going to increase their value. I I didn't know, I don't know if you knew about that uh, USA the the US dollar it's gonna fell down and may. Third May thirtieth, because the government didn't want to approve the I mean the, the the top of the money the top of the of the things that they have. But at the end on May thirtieth, close to June first, they did Republicans and Democrats. I mean, uh, with Biden, they make an agreement and he signed and a uh, U.S could avoid the default. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, that's okay. I don't continue speaking because you make me, I speak and you have to speak. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to hear you. Huh? Thank you. It's You're nice. welcome. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, currently, uh, German. Blockchain, you said that it's like uh database right yeah there is the database that is like a ballot in the which they are included crypto coins oh yeah i was i was looking and it said that is a database that is linked using cryptography yeah it, oh. it's like your ballot i like by example a chivo ballot is a blockchain oh okay mm -hmm. And that is only used in the e-commerce, right? Yes, I mean because I mean they they you can pay through this. I mean because a uh, virtual. I mean how you can fish physically with virtually. I mean no yet. I mean how I can explain. I mean if you are making like e-commerce, you can use your e-wallet, but something if you go to the market. You cannot use your your Shiba wallet as by example if you go to Mercado Central in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. How you are gonna say to the to the to the to the to the old women? Okay, give me uh, one kilo of potato. I'm mm -hmm. gonna pay with a crypto. What is it? She's mm -hmm. gonna tell you. Yeah. That's why. What is that? Mi corazón. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> corazoncito. I don't accept that. Huh? That's it. Ah, I see. Yeah, you have experience in. <laughs> you go there, okay. ¿Qué va a querer? ¿Qué va a llevar? <laughs> She's an expert. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, she's an expert. She's a... She's a... <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. I You're didn't welcome. know about that term. Huh? I didn't know about that term. Very good because you are learning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Hi, teacher. Hi. I, uh, I have a problem with my internet with the rain. Okay, I know, I imagine. Don't worry, what about Christian Garcia? I know he's here. I don't know what happened with him. I, no, I don't have any issue. Okay. Yeah. So here is no raining, so I don't I don't think really? it was, it was... Oh my god. So almost it's raining in every place. Yeah. So we are going to go out of the break of rooms. The place that really it's raining a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because it it's it is because you be you you live in the highlands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the people like us that we live, you know, on on the steppas. I mean, we doesn't it doesn't affect us. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you live there. I mean, you know. I live in the one town that is going to be part of San Salvador Norte. <laughs> you, really? you live, huh? you live, you live in um, Ayutuxtepec or Cusco? No, Brasil? come on. Ayutuxtepec is going to be part of the San Salvador Sur, I think so. Ah, okay. okay. I, come on. <laughs> no, but I, I, I don't, I don't. I don't read. I don't read to to the the, the notice. Ah, the, I mean the, the the news. The news, yeah, the yeah. Purpose. Uh, I was I, I was watching a little bit, and even they sent us a presentation. I mean, I was really at least. I mean, I was interested in my. I mean, I was I was I, I'm interested in everything, but I was focused on my department. It is San Salvador Norte, San Salvador Sur. San Salvador Norte is gonna be San Salvador. I think so. I took the peque, Mexicanos y San Marcos. Oh really? Yeah. San Salvador, uh, San Salvador town, San Salvador town in San Marcos, so you expect a Mexicano is San Salvador Norte. Exactly. And the uh -huh. other one, the the, the 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 one that nobody wants, they are gonna be San Salvador Sur, like oh. Soya, El Soya Bronx, Apopa, Ciudad Delgado, Cuscatancingo, Mejapa. <laughs> <laughs> what about okay. Helen? Tell us, yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> uh, I don't know where I am. Huh? Uh, to be honest with you, I, I I just hear a little bit about what the president said. I mm -hmm. didn't see the 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 communication, but mm -hmm. I um then I I started to to hear some jokes in the radio about that yeah and the they will be below Sal the, salvador they will be neighbors uh -huh, i mean, uh -huh, like, you know uh -huh, I mean? Uh -huh, yes <laughs> yeah uh-huh yeah but it's because i mean all i mean i think so that even from san martin that is the top i mean that is the the, the, the front line of the of san salvador mm -hmm. i think so that uh let me see and what is santa tecla <laughs> Huh? Santa Tecla. Because Santa Tecla is part, I think so, that is not a town. Yeah, I was, yeah, but it, it's part, I mean, I think so that it's going to be part of San Salvador Norte. Mm. No, no, it's Santa Tecla. It's... It's, la, it's, the, it's La Libertad, that's why. Hey, come on, Helen, yeah, yeah, yeah. you are confusing yes. me. <laughs> <laughs> I am asking you. I don't know, but that's, I mean, I was like, okay, who is that? No. I mean, but uh, yeah, but uh, but my man has reason. I mean, eh, 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 Santa Tecla is La Libertad. I mean, the last yes. the last town of San Salvador in that part in so that is San Salvador. That is the borderline by there. Mm -hmm. By the yeah, yeah, south, the south on is San Marcos. That is close to Santiago Texacuango. That is part of La Paz. By this side here in here uh, here the the the, the north sun uh, it's I think so that is San Martin that is close to Cuscatlan con Cojutepeque Santa Cruz Michapin, something like that so I think so that uh, even Tonacatepeque is gonna be part of San Salvador Sur because it's the last I think so Tonacatepeque is from San Salvador I think so yes yeah uh, yeah. So, 
Yeah. San Salvador, eh, Tonacatepec, el Paisnal, el Paisnal, I think so that is the borderline. Uh -huh. And for this, for this, uh, for this side is San Martin, I think so. Uh, uh -huh. San Martin is like the borderline. So those all towns, they are going to be part of San Salvador Norte. We are going to be neighbors. Yeah, and, and La Libertad is, um, La Libertad Norte is only uh, Santa Tecla and Comasagua. Ah, okay. So you see, you know, the people who live in the highlands, they know about that. <laughs> 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 Not like us, I mean, like us, a people, a poor people having three works, you know, having three works. <laughs> Working as, <laughs> working as a donkey working as a donkey trying to <laughs> trying to establish an e-commerce to get a little more money <laughs> i don't believe it hey <laughs> come on why <laughs> you, you, you have to <laughs> you you work only only teacher only teacher um only on, teaching uh, english uh only teaching yes. english my ah, three yeah. words are about teaching because I am I am working in a school in the morning. I'm working in another school in the afternoon, and I'm working. This is my third job. I'm working for English Corporativo in support at night. Oh my god! Yeah. Only teaching. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah, grading homeworks, you know. Yeah, but that's how I learned. I mean, that's how I learned. Believe it or not. Or do you when like you to teach? To children or adults? What do you I prefer? mean, I teach teenagers in the mo in the morning and in the afternoon I teach teenagers. But mm -hmm. I love to do. I mean, in my case, I I love what I do. Uh, they say that I transform when I'm teaching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, it is. See. Okay, attendance time, guys. Attendance, attendance time. Time. I mean, time to win back your love again. That's it. Okay. Attendance time, attendance list. Andrea Laureana Vasquez Martinez. Cristian Manuel Perez Garcia Perez. Present. Good. Cristian Ordóñez. Present. Good. Daniel Luna. Present, teacher. Daniel García. Present. David Rodríguez. Present. Helen Arevalo. Present. Good. Jose Alberto Baños, Jose Roberto Martínez Bernabé, no. Carla Leiva, present teacher, Catherine Flamenco, here, Good. Kenia Ruiz, Manuel Escamilla, present teacher, Good. Osvin Flores, Samantha Campos, Silvia Chantalino, here, good, eh, Zulma Ramírez, present, Ubaldo Alvarenga, present, good, Vanessa Noemi Reyes, y Judy Araceli Cuellar, I'm here, teacher. Good. Okay, time to go to the to chair. Oh, wow, 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 no, no training. Okay, that's it. What do we have to learn right now? The reported speech, yeah, with just no questions, okay? Okay, thank you, Bonnie. I know, okay. The reported speech, yes, no questions. When, re when reporting 
things that other people say or ask, the verb tense often shift back. We have read that. Yes, no questions, okay? This type of questions is reported by using ask or want to know plus if or whether plus class. Oh, that class is bad. But we have to learn that. So, simple present. Let's gonna read them. Let's gonna read them. Okay. Let me see. Manuel, read the first sentence, okay? Yes, but you have to open your mic, Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Customer, no is there customer? Is there a special discount for this product? Report okay. Speech. Ah, the, continue then. Report. Report a speech. Report the customer. A speech. Reported a speech. Reported mm -hmm. a speech. Okay. The customer asked whether there was a special discount for the product. Excellent. Stop there. So okay. the customer says the customer says something. Is there a special discount for this product? Report the speech. The customer asked whether there was a special discount for the for the product. Okay. I mean, it's like if you if a client or a customer tells you something, then you go. Uh, to your boss and tell, okay, boss, the customer asked, asked whether there was a special discount for the product. Uh, and you go from the simple present to the simple past. Always, again, to the simple present to the simple past. Catherine Alexandra, can you help me reading the second question, please? Okay, of course. Uh, customer, can this be purchased in the UK or only in the US? Mm -hmm. Report um, the speech. The customer asked if the product could be purchased in the UK or only in the US. Okay, thank you. So you see there again, can this be purchased in the UK or only in the US? And you see the reported speech, the customer asked. Ask if. Uh-huh, asked if product could be purchased in the UK or only in the US. Okay, you go then from simple present to simple past. What's up? Okay, second one, I mean, mm -hmm. second one, please, Sylvia, can you help me with the first sentence? Sure. Um, customer, was I charged for shipping? Mm -hmm. Report a speech, the customer asked, if he had been charged for shipping. Okay, remember, ask if, okay, ask if or ask whether or something. Uh, okay, Christian Garcia, can you help me, please? Uh, and the fourth one, right? Yeah. All right, as the customer, did the package arrive? And then the reporter's pitch. The customer wanted to know whether the package had arrived or not. Yeah, that's it. S look at here. It goes from simple past to past perfect. The first one, you go from simple present to simple past. And this one comes from simple past to past perfect. Okay. Mr. Ordonez, can you help me with the... Farming. Um, sure. 
uh, customer, will the laptop be delivery on Monday? Delivered. Report the speech. The customer inquire. Uh huh. Inquire in the laptop will be delivered on Monday. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Daniel Archimedes, can you help me please with the last one? Okay. Customer, will the shipping cost increase with the premium delivery or not? Report the speech. The customer asked if the shipping cost will increase with the premium delivery. Okay. So then you see there that we have three different uh three different uh, we can say grammar tenses from simple present to simple past, from simple past to past perfect, and from will to would. That is when you say uh, 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 you are asking something in like uh, in future and it goes to wood. Will the laptop be delivered on Monday? The customer inquired the laptop would be delivered on Monday. Do you have any question about these guys? Hello. Tami. Hmm? Everything is clear like the orchara. Like the coffee, no, clear. Everything is clear. So you can be quiet for right now. No, you can speak right now. Okay. No. Right now, no. <laughs> Thank you. At least you are, I mean, at least you are like, okay. You are very, I mean, very sincere. Very sincere, I think so. That is sincere. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So if there are no questions, you can start to work on these things, okay? You are going to work on exercise number five, okay? You can work on exercise number five. Right now, you are going to go to the breakout rooms to work on exercise number five. Read the following question left by customer in an online store, rewrite each questions in the reported speech using the example in the box, uh, uh, using the example in the box above as a model. Okay. Stop sharing and you are gonna be sending to the breakout rooms. Let's see, okay. So exercise number five. Uh, can you share? Uh, yes, no problem. Okay. Because I cannot open the file. And past perfect. 
or will work. Or when I think is in simple present. Simple present. I think number one. Too simple past. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Because he's asking if the item durable. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay uh, the customer asks if the item is durable. I don't know. Teacher, the question the question arises when we do the exercise. Sorry, 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 Carla. The question arises when we do the exercise. The question what? The question surgen. Ah, yeah, arise. <laughs> arise, the question arise when we ah, do well, the yeah, I, I got it, sorry. I didn't <laughs> got the idea, but right now, so. Uh, no, I don't know. I, uh, Read now... the following question left by customers. I mean, Rem I mean, you have to see that almost all the first the customer says in the in the I mean I will share. Let me let me tell you. Uh huh. No, I'm gonna share my screen. Okay. Is this Maybe even I I, I I forget to explain you this. These are questions. Look at here. These are questions. So then you do the report to the speech off. Yes. Ah, and that's why when you have here the question. You are gonna do here the report the speech. So, yes, I understand. But <laughs> but you don't but tell me, I don't know how to do it, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's why I mean I have to try sing to, a try, little try to do it and time. I will I, I, I will help you, don't worry. <laughs> Yes. will be easy to use. It will be easy to use, okay? It's need to use. Number okay. three. Number three. Um, simple pass to pass present, right? Okay, so the answer is the customer asked. The customer asked, yes. Uh, 
Um, sería, oh, no. It will be the customer mention. A mention. <laughs> mention. Oh, no, I think it's the customer wanted to know mm -hmm. the dimension of the item, right? Yeah, that's right. This customer wants to know the dimension of the items, yeah. The customer mm -hmm. one. You, you can use uh -huh, the the examples in the chart below. The oh. customer wanted to know the item is durable. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> maybe. Why maybe? One. It, Why it maybe? It is correct. Yes, but if I say that, is it correct? You don't. Think more. That's no, why yeah. if I say maybe you say, oh, well. Wow. No, I mean. we have a, a, a conversation <laughs> before. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you want to hear from your teacher? It's right. And sometimes I didn't say that it's right because you at, at least the thou, uh, the, the thou becomes learning. <laughs> okay. We are making the number two. Will, will the item be easy to use? I think um, the customer asked if the item. I think it's okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Who wants to try with number five? The number five says, do you charge extra fees for shipping? It's in present. Yeah, it's, it's in present. So the reported speech could be the customer. Hmm wanted to know or the customer yes wanted to know if if teacher uh, okay. I am I have a question in the number one <laughs> I think the the, the, I think is uh, the customer asked if the item is durable. Could be. Or can be the customer asked if the item was durable. No. I mean, again, what is the difference? Pause on the on the chat, please. If you want to write down, you can pause on the chat. You can paste on the chat. I write in the chat. Okay. The customer asked if the item 
is durable. Uh, no. Remember wrong. that you go for simple present to simple past. Or the customer asked if it was. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly that you go from simple past. Sorry, to from simple present to simple past. Okay. Thank you. Customer. The second. No. What about here? Everybody has finished. Yes, we finished. Oh, good. Could you please check if our answers are correct? So we are on the way. Good. I mean, if you can share them, it's going to be good. Okay. Maybe if you can share on the chat, or, I don't know. Maybe on the chat. Okay. Okay. And after this breakout room or right now? Right now, maybe. I mean, at least I have some minutes, some, some minutes to do. Let me copy the answer. For the number, the, the question number one, we write the customer ask if the item was durable. Mm -hmm. yeah. The number two, will the item be easy to use? And the customer ask if the item would be easy to use. And number three, the customer wanted to know the dimension of the item. And the number four, the customer wanted to know if the shelf was wide enough to hold the printer. So I mean, so the, 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 if you can paste on the chat because I, I listened the four and it's good. Okay. So you can share them on the chat. Okay. And 
I already shared the okay. answer. But just on the chat of the meeting, I mean, I have the chat of the of the meeting, but it's it doesn't appear. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. Let me paste it again. Oh, you can see. Right now, yes, the customer asked if uh, the customer oh. asked, yes. Ask, yeah. The customer asked if the item would be easy to use. Yeah, because the customer wanted to know the dimension of the item number three. I mean. Oh, but in the number three, that is a point. The customer wanted to know uh-huh let me see did you mean oh so did you mention i mean remember that if we go if we have simple pass we what we go to pass perfect in number three. Oh, number three mm -hmm. if we are remember the, the three things i mean if we are in simple present we go for simple pass if we are in simple pass we was we go for pass perfect and if we are in perfect in, in future, we go for good. That's why number three isn't good. I mean, the customer wanted to know. Wanted to knew it would be the right. No, answer. wanted to know that's okay because it's part. Wanted wanted to know when that's I mean that is part of this uh, of the uh, of the grammar instruction and after you have to start the clause what is the clause the clause is a complete sentence with meaning the customer mm -hmm. wanted to know maybe if uh-huh wanted to know if we uh-huh if we know the dimension no, of the item or past no. perfect. Oh. Do you remember past perfect? No, not too much. Not too much. I mean, that is the, the past perfect is made using the verb, verb having past and the past participle of the verb. Okay. Could you please help me guys? No, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, could you please just repeat me the question, Catherine? Okay. the The teacher is saying that the number three mm -hmm. is is wrong. I mean, we write yeah. because we wanted to know the dimension of the item, mm -hmm. but is, we have to translate this. Sentence in past perfect. So I don't know how to do it. The the right structure. So the customer wanted to know to none? Wanted to know? He said it was correct. But the next one, the the next the, the dimension of the what? item. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I don't know how to Items dimensions. That is past perfect, Sylvia. Do you remember past perfect structure? 
have been. Exactly, but in past. Have. Exactly. Been. I mean, the, the customer wanted to know if we have been mentioned. Ah. Uh. Yeah, because remember if we go from simple past to simple present. Uh, okay, got it. Now I understand. So, had the dimensions. Yeah, if we if we had the, no, if we had the mention, I mean, wanted to know it's okay. We can live like that because it's part of the first class. But after we have to have a complete class that it says mm -hmm. the customer the, the customer wanted to know if we have the if mention. Have dimension of the oh, okay. Yeah, because that's the past perfect of the sentence. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god. We just ran out of time. Yeah. <laughs> that was hardest hardest exercise. But we yeah. are we yeah. are out of time. <laughs> I said that is good, but yeah, it is still difficult to me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, at this time, you have to create, you are going to have like 10 minutes to create an open and a slide presentation about uh, tips on hiding and delivery charges on how to make a smart purchases. Okay, you know that sometimes they are like uh, sites that they have, they are cashing like one cent just to uh, just to give the information of your credit card. That's why they are hiding in delivery charges. They say, okay, so that is the price, but if you need a delivery, you have to buy an extra money. Like, Or sometimes they say, okay, by shipping is free, but maybe they are, they are charging the cost uh, inside the price. So then you are going to make a, a presentation about making, may giving a, Tips, how you can avoid the hiding delivery charges and how to make a smart purchase. One advice and one advice of each. One advice of hiding delivery charges and one advice of how to make a smart purchases. And at the end, I will share the answer of the exercises because you're gonna be like, that. did I do well, why not, okay? At the end, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share the answers of the exercise, okay? Teacher, teacher, hi Vanessa. Teacher about what? Ah, uh, tips. One tip about hiding. Uh, tips on hiding and delivery charges. Hiding. Charges. I mean, there are hiding charges. Something like they say. Okay, no, you don't have to pay any. You have. You don't have to pay any fee, But just you. You just have to give us your credit card, and at the credit card they charge you just one cent. Ocultos, right? Yes, hiding. That ah, right. means hiding. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Just one and one.
especial que deben probar. La primera es una que se ha bastante en las últimas semanas. Se llama Cochique, básicamente es muy maneja, ¿no? Por eso también el nombre es Alcal, sí, pero no es que es un marco. Esta herramienta te permite hacer diferente. Luego por alcalear básicamente con un resumen. Puedes pedir un resumen, puedes preguntar por una información. Helen, nice to meet you by a picture. <laughs> nice to meet you too. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't have a Zoom, so I. Oh, good. I, no, that's okay. You uh -huh, have, you so have, I, you uh -huh. I didn't yeah. add a picture before. Okay. Uh -huh. Helen, just okay. let me tell you that you are the winner of the lotto mm. today. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How can oh, I okay. uh, you, you you sound like happy. Mm. I am a little bit tired, but it's okay. Yeah, I know. I mean, so sorry, <laughs> Helen. But it, this day it's better than Friday, you know. Ah, okay. Yes, it's better. It's better. <laughs> Uh huh. Okay. Uh, no, I mean, you just have to give a tip. I mean, you have to create a slide with a tip of hidden charges. Or the hidden. hidden charges. What does it mean? Hidden. Yeah. It means when they say, I mean, they tell you that they are not going to cash anything, but they do. But they do just uh, without you see or without you notice. Okay. That's it. And uh, a smart purchase. One tip uh, about hiding charges and one tip about a smart purchase. How you can do a smart purchase on e-commerce. Smart what? Smart purchase. Purchase. Yeah. They say compra inteligente. Yeah. That is in okay. Spanish. I cannot use Spanish. I don't allow to, to use Spanish right now. <laughs> yeah, you did. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the, the price. Yeah, the but, offers, you, but the so offers. in that case, that the tip could be you can conceal the price in different websites. The offers. Yeah, or the offers, or the coupons, or any discount. Uh, and in Amazon, there is one. There is one tip. You know, okay. they say that in Amazon you can go to Amazon uh, storage. I think so, and they have the things that they done move too much and you can buy them by the by a less price okay that could be a tip what about you david excuse me hello I, I listen to you. Yes, uh, 
I, I was asking to David, so David, what would be an advice that you could give me to avoid these charges? Oh, uh, okay. Um, the, here in El Salvador, there exists a, a dependence of the government. And they cared a uh, consumer, I don't know. <laughs> consumer. consumer? Consumer. Consumer, yeah. Um, when, when you detect um, a high chart in the voice, it's necessary you you call the that this uh, dependence of that government. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Another one, guys. We mentioned that we have to, we should double check the bills and, and invoices. So yeah. the other one, it could be that we have to maybe verify it and we don't have to share um, security information about our credit cards, maybe. Yes. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's the word check the invoice. Mm -hmm. A purchase online, you have to buy an air conditioner. So you get <clears throat> You can you can make your first purchase online. Okay. It's an it's a priority that you have to to buy a, a air conditioner. <laughs> you purchase the search and compare prices with review. Okay, guys, now Nalib, you don't speak too much. Now, so you are just going to present your slide and after, and today you are not gonna explain to that, just we can read it and I'll, and I'll chirp you like a pecacucha. Teacher, what is pecacucha? It's a homework for tomorrow. Tomorrow I will explain what is pecacucha. Okay. <laughs> okay, Manuel and Vanessa, just show us your slide. Leave it for one, one for many seconds, and after I want to tell you time to. Okay, you don't have to explain today. Okay, Vanessa. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's providing delivery charges and how to make a subscription. Read the shipping policy, shipping the results, use filters for starting off, channeling for promotional codes or coupons. Research and cover price, read product reviews, determine your needs and priorities, look for warranties and or warranties. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nice images, good. Okay. Thank you. 
Judy's group. Who is Judy's group? Do you have a presentation, Judy? No, teacher. No. Okay. Good. Uh, what about Danielle's group? Daniel Arquimedes. In my group we was uh, Judy. Uh, we have oh, okay. the Don't worry then. Don't worry. Uh, Carla was with Manuel. Helen. What about the slide of your group, Helen? Mm, Christian has the slide. Ah, okay, Christian has the slide. Hiding the delivery charges, we shouldn't put all the information of the credit card. Oh, that's okay. That's a good point. The deliveries are never free, even though they specify. Ah, good, that's a good. A smart purchase, select a different Payment and credit card like pay, pay money, pay, uh, pay like paying paying in cash or paying when they are home. Well, good, I got it. A smart purchase, I mean purchase without the Christian. I think it's a smart purchase. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Sylvia, were you with Christian and Helen? No, also. No, I work with Alexandra and, and Ospin. Okay, show us your uh, slide. Okay, got it. Hi then. Oh, double check the bills and invoice. Uh huh. Overdraft fit and avoid the shared CC information. Security number. Yeah, but all the pages, the website ask you for the security number, no? The the number of the credit card that you have, uh, on the other side of the credit card. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. They you say that you we don't have to give it, but uh, we cannot go in advance of the credit card. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's true. Thank you. Okay, let me see, guys. I will share the answers of the exercise, but after you can say, teacher, what's up? Uh, after you can start with the questions, okay? And I will give you, because maybe they can be useful for you uh, on the homework. There is on your WhatsApp chat. Okay, so the first one you say that they wanted to know if the item it says that it can be is or was, but remember that we the, according to the theory we have that if we have present we can go for the past. The customer asked or wanted to know or wanted to inquire or inquire if the item will. I mean, it will be will, okay? Because if we have, we are working with will, we go, we go for would. And it, why, that's why it has the past or the change, the chief verb that it has to change. Number three, this is one that has problem. The customer asked or wanted to know if we had mentioned why, because is, in simple past. And remember, that is the sentence is in simple past. We have to go for the uh, press for the past perfect. Sorry. That's why. Which is the past perfect? We have mentioned. Number four, the customer wanted to know if the bottom shell was, that is, was wide enough to hold a printer. Number five, the customer asked which are, if we charged 
extra fees for shipping. We charge, okay? That is we charge. And the last one, the customer wanted to know if the warranty covered the cost of the repairs. It means the verb that you have with the slash is the, the verb that has the chief. Okay, the, it makes the chief. That's why uh, you are there in that way. Also, you have the answer. Maybe if you could uh, kneel for the homework or for the assignment that you have for today. Please, guys, I beg you that you have to do your homeworks. Okay. After that, after the class, you can close your eyes, go to your bed, students. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Yes, Thank dream, you. With a, dream with Bye. angels. See you tomorrow. Have sweet See dreams. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you. See you. Hello. Hello. Just wait for a little minute because. <coughs> okay. okay. Right now. Okay. Helen. So, how can I help you? Mm, any doubt basically i i i understood i think i just have to practice uh, i to be honest with you i studied those topics before but some like four years ago and i forgot some something but i think i have to to remember them yeah yes because where did you study uh, sorry so sorry where did you study um don bosco mm. don bosco in that the free is uh, near tuca ah yeah don yes. bosco uh, uh, yes so yes. they were the free courses no yeah no 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 it was at no, the university Yes, it it was a it was a a course that I took in that moment. Yeah, um, but it, it was because you were studying any career at the university. No, I I I, um, they I are have a degree courses. in Turin's business administration, but it, that is a additional that I I, oh, I did. Wow. Uh huh. Yes. So good. Um, because my my brother helped me. And he paid that ah. the course for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so when I I I finished uh, my my career, mm -hmm. I I started a little bit mm -hmm. English. Yeah. But basically, uh, I think that I just have to remember again <laughs> the the rules. Yeah. Yes. Because it's just playing and it will be the same <laughs> yeah basically it's the same mm -hmm. yeah i think so that if, if you don't practice i mean you start to forget it mm -hmm. yes and um, however i um, today i requested uh, to my boss to to belong me the access uh, to these links in the computer in my job Mm -hmm. because they 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 are like they are not allowed oh, so that we you are referring to, to the links I, to the mm -hmm. links of this to make the homework and things like ah, that. okay yeah. mm -hmm. yes because did he uh, sorry did he um he sent uh, an email to it yes oh, uh-huh i hope that <laughs> Oh. Uh huh. I have that. Mm -hmm. Because so, uh, uh, my my coworkers they are requesting to. Really? Who is your coworker? Mm -hmm. Sylvia and Alexandra. We work together. Ah, you work together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have another uh, coworkers, and they are uh, in, in another, another level, groups. another group. Yes. Oh. Yes, but uh, is it at the same time too? Yeah, eight to ten p.m. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. So then you are expecting that 
they do. You don't know yet the answer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. Yes. I don't so know I, if I... you have any comment, any question, or if even any opinion about the class, about the teacher, you can do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can be. You are free. Mm, I think it's very interesting those topics because um, it's uh, related with uh, the work I do every day. Sorry, we have what the bit to be. Okay, oh. so uh -huh. we work with bit to be. So oh. I I I heard those 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 meanings before mm. a job so for example uh, you, you feel you feel like in your salsa <laughs> yes okay what we will do is like okay uh, we have the the company diana, ah, okay. diana here in el salvador mm. uh, so we works for a company that is called in the united states cbi Okay. So they distribute to the United States products belong from Diana. Ah. Snacks, wafers, and another uh, products, for example. Nostalgic, beans. nostalgic Salvadorian products. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a nostalgic Salvadorian products. And some another products like a bananina, drinks like Tropi Champagne, and okay. some beans and doy pack. So basically what we will do is uh, we we help to the distributors to distribute our our product. Ah okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know Walmart, McLean and all those companies? Mm -hmm. So we'll distribute the, the product to them and they have different grocers in the United States. Oh. So basically, we we are divided in a west, east, and central. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And we we'll provide, mm -hmm. and we provide service to them, and we help them with the product. Mm -hmm. uh, you you need to communicate uh, also in both languages, even if English yes, Spanish. both both languages. Yes, most of the times. Is in Spanish, but sometimes some customers they ask some things in English, okay. or but but the system is in English and some accounts they are in English too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. It sounds I think, interesting. Yes, they have in in United States twenty years. But oh. here in El Salvador, they have around five years that they started to provide the service. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. So okay. we we help them. We are uh, every day in touch with some warehouse there. Oh, okay. We have a warehouse in Miami, in California, and Houston. Mm -hmm. So basically, we we speak some spanglish sometimes uh-huh i imagine because they used to do uh -huh. i imagine that yes. you have clients that they are they they are even they want to be like uh gringos but maybe they are latins and they want they start to speak like uh-huh but most of the the uh, people that work in miami they are salvadorians or even i was uh, watching you i don't know i was watching a video that is about a city in miami i don't remember the name but mm -hmm. there is a there is a curiosity that in that city the 95 percent of the people they speak spanish at the u.s really yeah, and just the five percent speak English, and then what the video was because mm -hmm. uh, there 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 was a woman who was asking. I think so. He he went. She went to McDonald's in that town, and she asked something in English, and the the girl the girl that was there says, "Okay, no, no, no. 
No, no hablamos, no hablamos <laughs> inglés. Yeah, and imagine, I mean, that is uh, what happened at the U.S. Yes. At the yeah. city of the U.S., you say, it's somebody that they don't speak English. That's why they say that the, the girl was fired. The, the, the girl got fired, sorry. And, but it was like the video, what happened here in the U.S. because the people is speaking Spanish. I mean, something like that. Mm -hmm. That is so cultural. And yeah, I, I remember that I, I watched um, is a program that is in Houston too, that they have um, some announcement in, in English and Spanish. So oh. they don't need to, to, to learn. Basically everything is in both languages. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yes, there that's are a, lot, why a, a I, lot of I, towns right now in English, and as you said, they, they, I mean, and, uh, as you said, I mean, there are like a cities where they they have a, 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 a I mean, a big amount of population. It's that I mean yeah. that they speak Spanish, like Salvadorian, maybe Guatemalans, like Hondurians, like I mean, Mexicans. So, and they start to speak just Spanish and. There are a lot of maybe cities or places that they speak just Spanish at the U.S. It's very weird. Mm -hmm. And it will be depend on the area, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because uh, some people prefer some specific area that they are not with Latin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is also the, I mean, like, uh, mm -hmm. to be elitist. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Helen, so if you don't have any other comment about the class, about the teacher, I think so that you can go to your bed. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome, Helen. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah.